Hello, everyone. Welcome to the press conference. We are joined by Loud coming off their victory against Navi. We'll start with a few written questions first. First question goes to Fraud from Sports Key to Esports. Three controllers on Bind was a huge change for your team. What was the reason for going with such a risky composition on the final map of the series? Um, you know, something that we practiced, something that we spoke a lot about. Uh, ultimately, it's very similar to the comp that we were running before. We just swapped out Omen and Chamber, or Omen uh, Chamber. So, um, you know, it's something that was very comfortable for us. Uh, Sadok's an excellent player that can play kind of any agent. And we just figured that, uh, you know, especially through the training that we had, um, that would give us a, a good result. Thank you. Next question goes to Sadok from Sports Kita Esports. In the 22nd round of Bind, you and Aspas were put in a 2v4 retake. Can you talk us through the voice comms done in that round and how you were able to pull off the impossible looking clutch? I mean, there weren't that much comms, to be honest. He killed one, I killed the other one, and we were, were just like, okay, we can win now. So I tip into the bomb, and Aspas killed one. I fake, faked up, baited the, the, the Neon, and we just won. It was pretty much it. Like we were communicating really fast after the, the two kills. Like I'm gonna tap, okay, I'm baiting, blah blah blah. But it was, it was really, how can I say, unconscious from our part. Thank you. Next question goes to Tuis from the Valorant competitive community. Congrats on the win. You have recently been on a great run of form in this event uh, that we may not have seen from you in the past on Loud. How do you personally prepare mentally to allow uh, to not allow the pressure to get to you and perform like you did versus Liquid and Navi? Então essa pergunta agora vai para Twiz. Parabéns pela vitória de você. Parece que você está numa ascensão muito boa nessa fase do evento, é, numa fase muito boa também como com a Loud. Como você se prepara pessoalmente para manter o mental estável e bem, como você fez para performar contra esses últimos mapas com a Loud? Acho que tem que agradecer principalmente o meu time e também meu psicólogo, o Brunão, que me ajuda muito na parte de preparar o mental sobre várias situações do jogo. E também quando eu tô... Quando a gente tá jogando, eu... Tipo, nada em falta me afeta. Tipo, eu tô focado no meu jogo e no meu time. E focado na melhor solução pro round, tá ligado? Tentando achar. Então, é mais ou menos isso. First of all, I need to thank my, our psychologist, Bruno, that is always helping us and preparing us mentally for every kind of matches. Uh, when we are playing, like, to be honest, nothing around affects me. I'm always focused on my game and my team and always trying to find like the best solution for what we face. So it's pretty much that. Thank you. Next question goes to Fraud from the Valorant Competitive Community. Uh, we have seen you guys include Breach on your comps for this tournament on Pearl and Split. Is this just circumstance or have you played him because you guys think he's strong in this meta? Um, for us, we're a team that we're always constantly trying to test different things, evolve our game a little bit. And um, for me as a coach, I'm really confident in the agents that we, we pick, especially uh, the the guy's controlling uh, the agent. And we feel like Sadak is one of the better breaches out there. Uh, he plays the agent very well. He's also our IGL. So, um, you know, it's something that for us, like I said, we, we practice a lot, we feel really comfortable. And I think what makes it really important is the, the player behind the, the, the agent. Thank you. Next question goes to Sadak from Zen Estrafe. You spoke on how the mental aspect was something you've been working on as a squad. What does qualifying for playoffs do for you guys? Who are you looking forward to facing the most in playoffs? Uh, so for us, it represents like we did our job really well. Uh, we're really happy about the results. We're really happy to make it into playoffs for sure. Uh, we don't have any, or I don't have any preference to play against anyone. Like for me, every game is a different game and we're just, so grateful for being here and playing and doing what we love. So no matter who we play against, it's going to be fine for us. Thank you. We'll now transition to remote media questions. First question goes to Brandon Esports GG. Um, I'll ask this question to Les. 
Uh, you know, you're playing on a, on a role that typically isn't, you know, a fragging role, but you consistently put up numbers, you know, especially against someone arguably, uh, you know, equally as powerful in that role, Sugetsu. I just kind of like to ask uh, how you find value doing that as, you know, the Sentinel or controllers such as Killjoy and Viper. Essa pergunta vai para o Les. É, é óbvio que você está jogando em um papel muito importante, trazendo os resultados muito bons. E, por exemplo, dessa vez, é, num embate com alguém muito bom, como o Suigetsu também, como você se sente e qual é o seu diferencial para você, nessa posição de sentinela ou controla, trazer um bom resultado para o jogo? É... Começar que, sim, o Suigetsu é muito bom, é a primeira vez que eu enfrento ele, né, a gente nunca tinha enfrentado a Navi antes, e ser bem sincero, é um player ex excepcional, sabe, ele é realmente muito bom, é... era muito bom ficar com a mira cravada, sabe, eu abria um shift, ele me dava na cara, então eu tinha que tomar muito cuidado, e acho que o meu diferencial é só que realmente eu, eu sempre fui acostumado a jogar com pouca skill, sabe, então... É, eu acabo me adaptando muito bem a, a situações onde só tenho que ruxar ou realmente não ter flash, não ter nenhuma skill, porque o meu boneco não tem nada, só tem uma torreta, né? Então é o que eu faço. É só usar uma, uma arma para tirar mesmo. First of all, yes, we get so he's a really good player. Like indeed, it was the first time we faced a Navi, but like it was just an amazing performance. Whenever I tried to open, he would have like his aim like fixed it and just like blast on my face. And regarding the differential, I would say that I'm very used to play like much without many skills because in the end of the day, like I only have like a turret. So I guess that makes me more prepared to adapt to this kind of like situation. Thank you. Next question goes to Julia, the Spike GG. Oi, tudo bem? Bom, a minha pergunta vai para o Sadak. Primeiramente, eu queria parabenizar pela vitória e vocês passaram por uma jornada desafiadora, levando em conta que vocês tiveram que lutar pelos playoffs, pela chave inferior e qualquer deslize poderia levar à eliminação. Como você descreveria a jornada da Loud até essa classificação para os playoffs? Como eu descreveria essa jornada? Eu acho que foi uma jornada muito, muito difícil para nós, realmente. <risos> realmente, passamos por muitas... Situações muito muito difíceis no time. A gente afrontou muitos desafios dentro e fora do servidor. E, e a gente atingir esses playoffs para nós é uma coisa maravilhosa, realmente. Só nós sabe, só nós sabe as coisas que aconteceram dentro. E, e realmente estar aqui é a prova de nosso esforço, de nossa dedicação. E de que a gente está jogando um pelo outro. Estamos eh, dando nosso melhor tempo todo. So this question was towards Sadak, and it would be, how would you describe like loud and what you guys did in order to classify for this? And he said, indeed, I would describe as a difficult one because overall we had many hardships on and off server and getting into playoffs, not only like validate, but also like makes us see that our hard work is like being put in a good place and confirms our dedication and our like group tech six. Thank you. Next question goes to Gabriel. Boa tarde, é Gabriel do GE da Globo. A minha pergunta para o Sadak é: queria que você falasse quão importante foram esses jogos de hoje, pelo jeito que foram, né? Foram três partidas muito equilibradas, muito tensas, acredito, obviamente, para vocês também. De que maneira que isso é, ajuda o time, propicia o time a criar uma casca aí para essa busca pelo título? Obrigado. Então, essas duas vitórias nos dão realmente muita confiança. Muita confiança é, que no que a gente trabalhou durante depois do, da, do Japão. E, e como você falou, nos criou muita casca. Tipo, a gente entendeu que, que realmente não foi só sorte a gente estar aqui, que foi muita dedicação, muito trabalho. E isso da, e a gente ganhar esses dois matches do jeito que foi, realmente nos deixa muito motivados para entrar nesses playoffs do melhor jeito possível. This question was towards Sadak, and it was how important 
was these games like very equilibrated towards like the skills and also like being a very tense one. How does like having those matches uh, help you guys to create like a thick skin for the next games you're going to be facing in the championship? And Sadat answered that indeed it brings us a lot of confidence, especially after we all went through until you get to this point. Uh, it does create thick skin. It was a lot of dedication and indeed having those victories motivates us to play and bring up even a better game in the next matches. Thank you. Next question goes to Raquel Mais Esports. Boa noite, Raquel Ferreira aqui do Mais Esportes. Primeiramente, parabéns aí pela vitória. É, minha pergunta vai para o Les. É, você jogou muito hoje é, e eu queria saber o que, que essa vitória representa para você e como é que você vê seu amadurecimento, né? que quem acompanha consegue ver assim, uma grande evolução que você teve é, do ano passado para esse ano. É, obrigado, né? É, acho que é o maior amadurecimento. Primeiramente, obrigado pela vitória. <risos> Só lembrando isso, para, para. Acho que o maior diferencial foi realmente entender mais o jogo, sabe? Eu parei de. No ano passado, querendo ou não, era. Eu era um bonequinho andando no mapa. Só queria sabe? dar tiro. Só queria dar tiro. E agora, para esse ano, eu entendo muito mais da macro do jogo, entendo muito mais de rotação, entendo muito mais a minha função dentro do jogo. Isso me ajuda muito é, a realmente ter mais confiança dentro do jogo. E acho que foi isso, o diferencial, assim, do ano passado e para esse ano. So this question was towards Liz. Uh, you play very well today, and congratulations for the victory. I want to know how this represents, what does this represent for you? And how do you see yourself maturing, comparing the evolution you had so uh, until now, comparing to last year? And he mentioned that the biggest differential was, like, in the past, I uh, was more looking forward into matching and like shooting around but now i'm in a much more mature position where i know more about my function and more like a, about rotation and more tactical related things and i believe that this is what brings us a differential comparing to my old self thank you next question goes to antonio nerditude Thank you so much. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, congratulations for the qualified guys. Uh, my question is for Zach. Zach, um, ya están clasificados. No, no saben actualmente con quién les va a tocar uh, jugar el siguiente match. A mí me gustaría saber contra a qué equipo les gustaría enfrentarse. Mira, siendo honesto, realmente no no tenemos ninguna preferencia en este momento. Eh, estamos tomando cada juego como tiene que ser, con el debido respeto, con la debida preparación. Entonces, sea cual sea el enemigo que, que afrontemos en, en el futuro, vamos a, a dar nuestro mejor y prepararnos de la mejor forma, pero no tenemos ninguna preferencia. Muchas gracias. Felicidades. Gracias. La next question goes to Razor. Hi, this is another question from the Valorant competitive community. Um, it goes to Fraud and Sadak. Um, out of the hardships you've faced this year, what do you think helped you the most to overcome them and be able to make playoffs? Mm, I think from it's going to agree with me. I think the fact that we, we stick together as a more as a family, right? Like, I would say, I don't know if you agree with me, Fraud. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But I, oh, of course. <laughs> the fact that we, we stick together as a family, no matter the the result, um, we kept trying and trying and trying. I think that was the, the differential for us. Yeah, and I, I mean, I agree. Um, you know, teams go through ups and downs. It's really challenging and it's really tough to just constantly win. Um, maybe outside of Fnatic right now, but you know, for every other team, we have to go through our ups and downs. And um, the most important thing is that we stick together regardless of the outcome. Um, and that's something that we try and discuss a lot. And we spend so much time together, so much time apart from our families that, you know, we're kind of creating our own little family and, um, you know, just making sure that we stick together regardless of what happens. Thank you. Next question. Oh, sorry. Uh, next question goes to Wesley the Clutch. Sempre, güey. Dá um jeito aí, güey. Você já, já é velho fazendo isso, güey. A rapaziada. A rapaziada. Coitado. 
Wesley morreu, mano. Rush in peace. E aí? Are you muted? Are you okay? Wesley? Cadê essa galera? Tu escuta, galera. Probably trying to speak, but I'm not getting an audio output. Ah, oh, ok. Opa! Tá de ajuda? Que isso, Zin? We'll come back to you, Wesley. Uh, next question goes to Gabriel. Thanks. É, eu de novo. É, queria continuar no assunto desse é, dos jogos de hoje, né? Tão apertados e queria ouvir do Kawanzin é, uma análise aí dessa série de hoje. Por que que você acredita que foram partidas tão apertadas e quais foram os fatores ou o fator principal que fez com que vocês se sobressaíssem hoje? Obrigado. Cara, acredito que a Navi é um dos melhores times do, do EMEA, então eles conseguem se adaptar muito bem ao nosso estilo de jogo. A gente veio com uma comp diferenciada, então eles não tinham como estudar, é, principalmente na Bind. E basicamente eles conseguiram se adaptar, a comp deles também era difícil, a gente estudou a comp deles com o Sage, e eles mudaram também, então basicamente era jogo de se adaptar de um lado e se adaptar para o outro. E basicamente conseguiu se adaptar melhor e, e é isso, a gente conseguiu ganhar. This question was towards Kaunzin wanting to keep on the topic about the matches today and he wanted to hear an analysis from Kawan on why he think it was like such a tight matches and what are the main factors you guys thought that led you to have an upper hand. And Kawanzin basically said that uh, Navi was indeed a top EMEA team and they were pretty like famous about adaptation as well. And in overall, this game was all about adaptation because like we studied what they had and they surprised us on the match. But at the same time, we also like tried to come up with new strategies and they couldn't adapt to that. So adapting here and that, like the best who adapted ended up winning. Thank you. Next question goes to Baker. <laughs> Saludos a todos. Eh, mi pregunta va para Shadak. Eh, que, bueno, más que una pregunta, me gustaría saber si te gustaría enviarle algún mensaje a toda la gente de Latinoamérica, sobre todo de Argentina, que te está apoyando en estos momentos. Claro, claro, con orgullo. Eh, para la comunidad latinoamericana, eh, estamos acá representándolos a ustedes también. Sabemos que somos un equipo de Brasil, pero... Los muchachos van a, van a concordar conmigo que estamos representando la TAM, estamos representando eh, todo el esfuerzo, toda la energía, el amor de, de la TAM, estamos representándolo acá. Y muchas gracias por el apoyo, muchas gracias por confiar en nosotros, muchas gracias por, por independientemente de lo que pase, de, de apoyarnos. Así que eso, muchas gracias. Gracias a ustedes, muchos éxitos. Gracias. Uh, we have a question from Wesley. He says he apologizes for his mic. Um, you surprised with three controllers and bind, and Navi had many difficulties in attack. Were these choices designed to hamper their offensives? And uh, we'll send this to Fraud. Um, yes and no. I mean, it's something that we've been practicing for, so I wouldn't say it was specifically catered to play against Navi. Uh, just something that. You know, we, we've practiced a lot. Um, Sadak is a true flex, can play any agent. Um, so for us, we feel that, uh, you know, in, in in these types of situations, we can, you know, potentially throw teams a little off by playing different agents. And Sadak does a really good job of playing the role um, and also incorporating different ideas with said agents. Uh, so, you know, just really happy uh, with the team effort there. And uh, everyone has come up with different ideas to try and help evolve our game and try and complicate it. And, you know, this is a tough game. Other teams are trying very hard and adapting. And, you know, sometimes when we bring out some stuff that maybe other regions or other teams haven't seen before, you know, they, they have a tough time. But uh, someone like Navi, they, uh, they adapted pretty well. And, yeah. Thank you. Um, and apologies. Could you do like a quick translation to Portuguese, your answer? Uh, sí, para nosotros lo tenemos mucho um, sobre esta composición. Um, una persona como Sada, que él juega muy boneco, él es un flex verdadero. So, para nosotros somos un team que um, o sea, podemos jugar muchas diferentes cosas. Um, y si haces algo que otro team no ha enfrentado o no ha visto, 
um, para nós é uma situação que será boa. E em, sabe, todo mundo está mandando diferentes opções, coisas de tática. Um, so, sempre estamos testando diferentes coisas, mas com uh, pessoas que podem jogar qualquer boneco, um, será muito bom para... Um, como o outro time não sabe muito o que estamos fazendo. Thank you very much. Uh, are there any on-site media questions? Uh, hello, my name is Kevin from Tiento Noticias. First of all, uh, congratulations for the win. And um, I wanted to know this. This is both for uh, Daniel and, and Matias, Sadak and Frodo. In your now on playoffs, and what balance do you make from this uh, group stage? And what uh, could you say that it was your main challenge through this stage? Um, well, for us, is we felt like this was a really difficult group, um, specifically because there was a couple teams we haven't faced before and a very difficult opponent in DRX. Uh, we obviously fell short against them early on. So for us, it was all about rebounding and making sure that we can make it out. I think the most important thing is now we're 0-0 going into the playoffs, so that loss doesn't matter anymore. Um, so for us, we're just really excited that the hard work and the dedication, the resilience to not let a loss affect us like that, and even the losses in Tokyo, um, you know, doesn't affect us to the point that we can't perform, we can't bounce back. So I think this is just slowly growing that um, that thick skin, as well as uh, understanding that we're never we're never out of a situation. Um, so just really proud of the boys uh, for sticking together and. Um, you know, overcoming such a difficult uh, group. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. That was a final question. Thank you very much, Laud, for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.